Everybody, welcome to Rock and Token and Talking with Liz and Kelly V. And we've got everybody's here already. Wow, you're on time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey. In computer audio. Uh, <laughs> can't see to hear you. Oh, two seconds. Sorry. Um, I'm using the Zoom account for another podcast I do. That's why it says uh, different name. That's okay. Welcome. How are you? One second. Oh, hello. Now I can hear you. Oh, everybody's slowly <laughs> joining in. Um, Yo. And you know who's always last, right, Litz? It's always Lane. How is everybody? Uh-huh. They're going all right. Going all right. How are you, Andy? I don't know that he can hear us yet. I don't think he can hear us yet. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> How's it going, Lips? I'm a big fan, man. <laughs> going okay. All right. I don't know. I think he's figuring it out. Hi, Mick. How are you? Here all comes right, Charlie. Welcome, everybody. So why doesn't everybody just um, give yeah, a hand? Well, Hi, Andy. No. Nope. Why doesn't everybody just introduce themselves and um, tell us what band uh, you're from? Say hi to Lips. Uh, yeah, so Adam Feezy, Adam and the Hellcats. <laughs> yeah, out of it. Adam, where are you from? Uh, you're not obviously the UK, but where? Uh, Bristol, mate. Okay, right on. A, uh, Southwest Soider country. Right. Even though I barely touch the stuff anymore, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mick, go ahead. Let everybody know who you are and where you're from. Hi, Charlie. Well, I just saw it's hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm we Mick. hear you now, Andy. Mm. Go ahead, Mick. <laughs> I'm Mick. I'm uh, from Philadelphia and uh, fans of the Sanctuary. Awesome. Welcome. Oh, We've been on the say, show. The say the band name again, me. please, Mick. Uh, Corners of Sanctuary. Oh, shit. That's you. Oh, yeah. awesome. Oh, awesome. Oh, Christ. Two people I'm a fan of here. I'm yeah, here. I know, I'm right? Me too. And Andy, welcome. Uh, can we hear you now? No. Charlie, hey, how are you, man? Hey, what's up? Why don't you uh, tell us your name and what band you're from while well, we can read uh, it? My name's Charlie, I'm from Rhythm All at Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, USA. Nice to see you again, Charlie. And hey, uh, good to meet you, bro. We're waiting, yeah, exactly. waiting on my other co-host, Lane. He usually shows up a few minutes late, but he will usually be there. Uh, Andy as well. Mate, honestly, I do a podcast myself. I'm taking a bit of a break from it at the moment, but um, the guy who co-hosts that with me, normally he is never on time. <laughs> I know, right? And I don't know if you do this as, as like a multicast like this, but trying to get organized five or six people a few times a week is kind of nuts. But it's a whole <laughs> lot of fun, as you can tell. So um, how is everybody doing? And um, awesome. Hi, Andy, again. Uh, there was oh. almost two of Andy. Yeah, I think he switched to his phone. <laughs> I, I have a hard enough time dealing with one of Andy. <laughs> he is an absolutely lovely, lovely person. And the reason why I gathered everybody here, and we have another person joining us. Both office. things going at once, so. <laughs> is Andy and I have partnered up, and we are now in business together doing management, PR, and booking, North American, and uh uk touring next year i'm really really proud and i just wanted to collect you all and put you all on one show and we're hey. going to continue cool. to do that um as we go through andy's incredible roster so um mick what's your what's your experience with andy um well i mean to date it's been fantastic uh unfortunately we kind of got together right at the cusp of um, the COVID pandemic, but I, a real quick backstory. We had decided as a band that we wanted to do a UK tour. So um, we kind of started it a lot later than we wanted to. Everybody that we spoke to said, it just wasn't going to happen. We couldn't do it, we couldn't put it together. So uh, we said, well, okay, well, we're going to do it anyway. So uh, lucky enough we did, but 
in the process, um, I got in touch with, and the of it was just like without, without hesitation, he was uh, willing to, you know, help us show together and, uh, and you know, on the bill and stuff. So that said, that's, to me, he spoke volumes about his character and the integrity that he had with the business. So we were, you know, kind of excited. So, you know, we talked a little bit while we were out there. Um, then once we came back, we um, connected. Oh, I don't know if that's Andy or you, Daniel, but we got a little bit of technical problems here. I am sorry to cut you off there, Mick. Um, I did want to say hi, Daniel. Hey, Andy, can we hear you now? That's way better. We're talking about you. Are you ears first, brother? Oh my God, no. No, okay. <laughs> so, I, I told everybody a little bit about our new collaboration and why I gathered everybody here today. But um, welcome, Daniel. Daniel's from Divided We Fall out in uh, you're in Oklahoma or Where? Texas? Oklahoma. 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 I thought so. Yeah, I'm, I can barely hear y'all, man. I'm trying to cut these fans off. I'm sorry about that. Um, we got Adam. He's from Adam and the Hellcats. He's out of the UK. And we got Charlie from Rid the Mall. Um, we got oh, yeah. Mick Michaels, the Corners of Sanctuary. Oh, we got two brothers there. Hey, everybody. And um, we got Ben. Ben, finally you joined in. Um, I just like everybody hey, to just say hi. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Good to see you guys. All right. So we're talking about Andy and his management in the UK stuff and, um, you know, just what the experiences are. And Adam, what, what's your experience working with them? Um, OK, my, mine was a, a little bit weird. OK, um, I'm assuming that at least some of you know Jax. Of course. Um, that's yeah. my of course. Yeah, of course. Um, well, I know you know her, mate. Come on. Uh, <laughs> on let, let me tell the story. All right. Hell, Andy, chill. <laughs> um, right. Basically, when uh, the UK went into our first COVID lockdown, um, I at first I got mad and then decided to get even. And I wrote a lot, <laughs> a, mm -hmm. a lot, um, yeah. a lot of it's kind of making up our second album. But um, I wrote this song called Royal Britannia, which uh, I decided, fuck it. This should be a charity single for the National Health Service. Um, uh, Fre uh, mutual friend of me and Andy's awesome. Tristan Blythe, uh, DJ Highlander. I don't know if any of you guys know him, but um, yeah. he he suggested getting some more people to play on it, kind of making it a bit of a rock and roll band aid. Really, um, he said, "Oh, I've got a guitarist friend with some uh, with some fans. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll get in touch with her." A couple of weeks later, I'm on the phone with Jackie Chambers, a freaking girls' school. And I know, right? I, I, my brain is just melting at this point. We, we put the single together, loads of other cool people on it. I'd be here all night if I mentioned them all. Um, but uh, then um, we offered Citeria the um, support slot, a show we're doing with the Wild Hearts. I, I don't know how many of you would have heard of them, but... Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah we, been. Citeria, excellent, excellent band. I know. Wow. Well, well what, what happened were, uh, my dad who is actually the drummer in my band, um, kind of talked to Andy about doing some warm-up shows uh, with Citeria in the lead-up to the big one with the Wild Hearts. And uh, that kind of became a 13-night UK tour <laughs> <laughs> all, all of a sudden. Um, and then our album started to near completion and Andy kind of liked it, so took us on and things have kind of accelerated to the point where some random kid recognized me on the bus the other day and drew a picture of our logo for me to sign. Like That's what amazing. the fuck? That is, that is the weirdest thing that has probably ever happened to me. I like, I, I am I am nowhere near freaking well known enough for that to happen. At well, least well, you in my will own be mind. because I, as part of the PR package, I am going to put your faces across city buses and across billboards, and it's you don't want my big. face on a bus. I know I don't oh, want my it. face up there either, but it's going to happen, dude. And I mean, uh, definitely, Lips and Jackie and Lane. You know, you better get ready for that. You know, and I just can't wait to drive past it and to call you, Lips, and say, hey, drive down the street and check it out you know i i don't know i think that'll be one of the coolest things i've ever done um, yeah. 
Has your face ever been on a billboard, Lips? <laughs> Has my face uh, ever been on a billboard? Yeah. Not a billboard. I don't know. Probably. 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 <laughs> As if you don't have a picture of it. Like, ah. Anyways. But, um, guys. Uh, I've, never, I've never had my face on a billboard, but when I was on the Howard Stern show in Las Vegas, when they were advertising him coming to town, his show was everywhere and all the big, big uh, lights and all the big billboards on the strip. And I'm like, I'm in that show. I'm in that <laughs> show. <laughs> so. That's awesome. He must have been a hoot to work with, but not as much fun as us. But Mick, I know you were uh, talking about his story. Is this when you got trapped over there right before COVID with Siteria? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. I remember it, this one, Mick. I remember this one. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, um, we had, we had, I had connected with Andy prior to that, you know, prior to us coming over and he, you know, he was real helpful getting the show together um, and getting us to be a part of it, which was, uh, like I said, like he didn't know us from Adam and, but he was willing to kind of, you know, help us out. And that just kind of showed some character and some integrity, mm -hmm. which kind of, you know, definitely propelled us to, uh, to want to work with him. So when we were over there, we talked very little. But it was kind of like that. Unfortunately, that show was kind of like all hell was breaking loose and we had to do our set and and then, you know, try to find a flight home and all that. So we didn't talk as much as we hoped. But when we got back and settled in, we started talking and then, you know, we were put on his roster and, uh, you know, we were hoping that things would have freed up. So we would have came back last year. But it's looking like maybe 2022 is if things still keep going in the positive way that we'll be able to go back. So. And I yeah, come, uh, come do something with us. When I you definitely can get back over it. I'm going to definitely work on that one. Um, Mick, you guys have just been absolutely amazing supporters for so very long of me. Donated so much, just like everybody. And um, I can't thank you enough. Like, um, we tried to do some online charity events that really didn't get a lot of. Uh, um, people paying for tickets, but got a lot of viewership, but we're going to continue to, to take those submissions like that and do some more stuff. But um, Daniel um, and Charlie, you guys are out in Oklahoma. And what would you say is the struggle of getting heard and out from Oklahoma? How hard is that? Just for Go ahead, Dan. That's probably the most struggle everything else that has got. There's a lot of support around it. The music scene is amazing. It uh, is, just, yeah. Everybody's in full swing support of each other as much as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, even high rate members like Tony, Tony Proctor is one of our favorite people right now. He's been really helping us along with uh, uh, Mary Jo Fain. She's been really helping us out. That's my mama bear. Yeah. For us, <laughs> for us particular, man, things have been real quick. We've only been a band three months. And uh, we got a, a single coming out. We're going to the studio this Friday. It's coming Friday. Start recording. We have a big following. Lots of local support, man. And uh, I mean, things just went. We, it's gonna, it's we met so quick. I met this guy three months ago, and he's already one of my best friends. Like, I mean, we wrote so many songs already, man. And and I mean, just the chemistry with all five of us just foul like that. I mean, what, what's, it's what's all, the sort so of stuff you we, play? We had, uh, what's the sort metal. of stuff you play? Because I, I haven't it's heard of you like guys. It's kind of like a southern metal grunge, like a new metal, new southern metal grunge. A <laughs> new deal, southern you know? metal grunge. I keep posting on the different subgenres and how many they are. And, you know, I get oh, criticized cool. a lot that I don't cover every single metal genre there is. That's a yeah, new so one, though, brother. I like it. it. Yeah, southern and grunge. I just do all the extra in there because, I mean, we do whatever. I'm, I'm whatever. for it. I, I'm yeah. definitely for it. I want to hear yeah. some of this. Definitely, yeah. we'll really? be sharing it. Um, <laughs> it's. I mean, it's it's pretty cool lately. It's stuff starting to ease up, but you know, we're always behind us. You know, we're always you know thinking about you know. Hope it doesn't stop. You know, it's starting yeah. to roll right now. Pretty good. We've done. Rid the malls done shows with the Vital We Fall, and we got a show with Lots and the Jets on August 18th, and uh, we're working that it's gonna you know i'm worried that it's gonna be canceled and i hope it i hope it doesn't you know I really do i really uh, i really hope it's not canceled too and that's a good another covid concern where you're at yeah Oklahoma yeah, seemed to be like the one place it didn't hit you know what i mean because really who the heck goes to oklahoma 
You know, yeah, you don't have right, to monitor right. the traffic here. Uh, am, I, am I to understand right. that most people getting it right now are people that aren't vaccinated? Um, in the in the UK, it seems that way. I'm not sure it's like over where you guys are living, but it seems like over here, even if you get the vaccine, you're still subject. Even if you get the double dose, you're still subject to get the deal. So I mean, it's like you take yes. off precautions and wear two condoms, but <laughs> yeah, you, know? yeah, you still could get sick if you've been vaccinated, but you're you're probably not going to end up in in critical intensive care. That's the whole point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> So there you go. They were saying today that the that the figures are up in the UK, but it's yeah. less people being hospitalised. Yeah, well, the yeah. figures every day. Yeah, and we've oh yeah, because you got people in the store that walk right up on you and like to sneeze, you know. And yeah. uh, one day I turned around and said, "Dude, you ever had your ass kicked over something like this?" Mm -hmm. You know, get the hell away from me, man. I mean, yeah. or not, you know, just you know, respect. I'll just back up. Well, yeah, yeah it, it's like COVID or no COVID. They're still just not being a dick, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. start a cult, a new yeah. religion, and the only rule is just don't be an asshole. I want to see how far yeah. that yeah. goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Don't yeah. be a dick. Yeah. Be yeah. I, I, I convert. I solemnly convert to All this right. religion. I like it. I like it. <laughs> you um, la, uh, Little dickness. I heard Hell Michigan is for sale. Let's buy it. We'll officially start a cult. I mean, <laughs> okay. geez, that'd be cool. Anyways, but let's get to some fun and some trivia. Um, Lane, I also have two questions, but what are your two questions for the group today? Oh, I'm glad you do. Great. Well, um, since we're talking about dicks and dickheads, what's oh, the correct Lyra, name for the slug? Too. All right, check this out, right? What's the correct name for the slug? Whose penis actually grows out of its head? Can you, guys, can you hear that? Everybody hear that? I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure. Man. Okay. Well, I'll give you some choices. Is it a banana slug? Is it a cock slug? <laughs> is it a pecker slug? Or is it a phallus slug? It's definitely a, a phallus slug. Yeah, no, phallus it's slug. A, it's a. Right, uh, I'm going to go with phallus slug. It should be a nail on the It's A. It's a real thing, and I know that's a real one. So I'm going to go with A. What do you say, Mick? I don't know, man. I know nine chords. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> what about well, you, I was, Charlie? I, I, I was going to say, I was going to say Blackie Lawless, but let's, let's, let's not go on that line. I call it <laughs> oh, what did I let myself in for coming in here? Exactly, I know, I know. Well, this is welcome to hell, man. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, so what's the answer? So has anybody not guessed yet? I said A. Okay, Kelly, you're correct. It is the banana slug. The banana what? slug. Banana slug. Banana slug. <laughs> That's a real slug, though. You know, the other ones I've never heard of. So what's the next question? <laughs> All right, I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make the assumption that this takes place in the United States, but in 1871, in Ohio, well, obviously it is because it takes place in Ohio, but an Ohio lawyer accidentally shot himself and died while demonstrating this in court. The innocent way to load a gun. Oh, sorry, the incorrect way to load a gun. How a defendant could have hypothetically shot himself. C, the safety on the gun works. D, how it's nearly impossible to shoot yourself. And D, and the entirety. I'm going to go with nearly impossible. No. I'm gonna uh, go I'll D. go, I'll, yeah, I'll go with D. Nearly impossible? Yeah, yeah. Nearly impossible. Yeah. That seems uh, that seems like a uh, something an ignorant, stupid motherfucker. A Darwin Award yeah. for sure, man. I think it's deep seed in the obvious. The obvious argument. <laughs> okay. It's D. Who said D. that? I did. Right. I'm saying D. Ah, ah, ah. All right. B, okay, and uh, an Ohio lawyer accidentally shot himself, 
and killed himself, demonstrating how the defendant could have hypothetically shot himself while in court. Yeah. 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 And the Darwin Award goes to... to that guy. Okay, well, hey, he proved it, right? <laughs> he proved it could have happened. He proved it. Okay, minor <laughs> more trivia questions. Um, okay, so I assist an erection. Sometimes big balls hang from me. I'm called a big swinger. What am I? Susie down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again if I need to. Any guesses? Say it again. Say it again. I assist an erection. Sometimes big balls hang from me. I am called a big swinger. What am I? Crane. Crane. Yeah. Did you Google that? <laughs> yeah. His buddy over off to the side. I see him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what gets longer if pulled, fits snugly between breasts, slides neatly in a hole, chokes people when used incorrectly, and works when jerked? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are the ones you have to repeat twice. Okay. So. What gets longer if pulled, snugly fits between breasts, slides neatly in a hole, chokes people when used incorrectly, and works when jerked? My baby there. <laughs> my, my only answer is in poverty. <laughs> it's a seatbelt. Get your eyes in together. All right. Oh, you got one more for us, Ben? Um, I always seem to. Uh, yeah. Okay, which of these canned foods isn't real? Okay, the um, a a canned bird's nest drink, <laughs> the canned cream of possum, wow. C canned pork brains, or D canned rabbit eyes. I'll go for C. Oh yeah, uh, I'm, I'm with C. C, C. So so C. So everybody thinks that I'll there's no such know. thing as canned pork brains. Yeah. Oh no, that's real. I, I thought you said pork rings. No, no. Pork, pork brains. brains. That's probably real. I'm gonna go with A. Yeah, a. A. It's gotta be A. Bird's nest. Yeah. yeah. Canned yeah. bird's nest drink. Yeah, I'd say no, it. that's God. No, that's just too weird. It, that's know. probably misleading. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. What's B again? What's B again? Uh, canned creamed possum. I'll go with that because that, that's like, really what the gross. fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That might be real. Yeah, that might be real. Okay, real. okay. all right. I'm sorry. Right. Okay, so yeah. one of these. <laughs> One of these is not real, so let's go through it one more time. Which one's not real? Canned bird's nest drink, canned, bur canned creamed possum, canned pork brains, or canned rabbit eyes? We're going with A. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, A. I'm actually going to go with the rabbit eyes. I'm going to say A. What about the you, Nick? Thing. Yeah, the real thing. I, got I don't know what the hell the. F I still haven't been. I, although it's been mentioned ten times already, I still can't make out what A is. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I know it's trouble. Is it's it's absolutely awkward. It's called canned bird's nest drink, and it, it it sounds actually exactly what it sounds. It's a it's uh, a bird's nest ground into a drink. drink. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that one is Lips, it. mate, you look as confused as I do about that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, is this just an American thing or something? Because I ain't going to get this. <laughs> you, you look how I feel. It's almost like guitar string soup or something. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah, but let's be, let's be real, Lips. One of these days, there might even be that. It'll keep us like yeah, fueled while we're all on the road. Because, you know, they have to boil their strings, so it already comes in the soup. You know what I'm trying to get, guys? You know what I'm trying to get because... Uh, 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 okay, are we, are we all going to get done for, like, 
comments of bassism tonight or something because the bass player jokes are flowing. <laughs> this players play all those strings. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. So um, the answer is, is anybody not, not guessed? I'm saying C. You're going to say I'm, C. I'm going D. You're going with hey. D. Okay. I'm going with the possum. Yeah. Hey. The possum. Okay. I'm still stuck so, on it. What is real? Okay. Can birds nest drink Israel? Okay. Can the cream possum Israel? Okay, not the country. It is Israel. Okay. Canned pork brains. It is Israel. But I'm sorry, there are no canned rabbit eyes, at least as one this list was made. Wow. That's what I least that's what I kind of expected. Yeah. Right, and it's a goal for England. Someone <laughs> <laughs> was so insane. So so a was so insane that it made no sense. It must have been okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. And and meanwhile, what's sitting right in front of your face is the bird's eyes. Like, come on, or the yeah. rabbit eyes. What are, gonna, what are they going to do with rabbit eyes? Where do they have possum manufacturing? You know what I mean? Where do they can possums? Like, I just. Don't believe in the, in in the, the factory space, down in Virginia and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you go down, you go down south there. You just get on the highway right near Boston, head down South 95, and you get to the hills. You'll find people eating anything they kill anything, on the road. Anything, <laughs> you know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, by you. Me, and showing me, he talked oh, yeah. just like Boomhauer. So funny, like I, and- I, I think he just might have like completely choked out one of the divided we four lads there. I saw him <laughs> coughing right up at that. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, I, I, don't die now, mate. Jesus. I saw that that look of recognition and understanding what I mean when I say road kills too. Road kills. <laughs> yeah. Has anybody seen the Canadian called classic Roadkill from night the late eighties? Has uh, Joey Ramone no. in it? It has the Ramones in it. And my very good friend, Larry Hudson, who is a cab driver. And he taught me how to play Magic the Gathering. Oh. And for about five years, we sold weed together and did all kinds of crazy stuff. But um, that movie is a really cool movie, Roadkill. Check it out. I uh, can't even find a copy of it. So if anybody can find it, let me know. Roadkill just <laughs> roadkill just sounds like our van after four hours, to be perfectly honest. But still. <laughs> mm-hmm. road traveling, yeah. Mm. Uh, what is the worst story you guys have had on the road? What's the worst experience you've had on the road? Lips, the very worst. Oh, well, why would I say that? <laughs> why would I want to even remember it? Well, it's the worst funny story. <laughs> Funny story. There you go. A funny story. How about getting? How about getting a, a, a police escort out of town because there was a posse after us. Holy <laughs> shit! After you, why would you do? Well, uh, we had a. <laughs> our, our our guitar player was in a in one of the hotel rooms, and the roadie broke into the hotel room while he was in bed with a girl, and turned the lights on and started kind of being um, disruptive oh my god oh my god so she got very upset ran out and went and told a bunch of guys that she got raped what so they showed up at the at the gig and they started throwing beer bottles as we were playing and we knew we had a problem <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, that Come on, you bomb hairs. Get out of here. Get down. Oh. So we just kind of went, okay, somebody's just mad. We could not figure out because nothing really happened other than the guy going into the room during during this go- and, and interrupted and she got f- freaked out. And in the meantime, the idiot, she ran out without her watch and the, the guy takes the watch and throws it again. The guy who broke into the room takes her watch and throws it against the wall, and busts it. So, oh my gosh. anyway, so it turned into this really crazy thing. So the girl comes back. I want my watch, and it's broken. So now to go, that's what set her off. I'm going to get you guys. And she went and told a whole bunch of guys she got raped. No. So now there's a bunch of guys with baseball bats out waiting for you know as the roadies are loading our gear into the into the into the truck so 
uh, the, the club owner called the, you know, is th thinking, man, maybe I should call the police. This is starting to get really serious, right? Well, as it turns out, the, the, the girl went to the, got picked up by the police, by the police and they questioned her. What's going on? Why are these why are these uh, guys running down the street with baseball bats? And she said she made up this whole story, and they all th so the police went okay. Showed up at the at the gig, and um, like two or three po police cars surrounded our truck and the car that we were all in, and drove us right out of town. Oh, wow! <laughs> um, Can it? Kelly, really sorry to interrupt. For some reason, I've got my screen remaining meeting time like nine and a half minutes. Are you seeing that too? Yes, we are. We're we're at the 10 minute mark. Yes, um, they are timed at 40 minutes. I do apologize about that because we usually get rolling. Um, you know, that, well, I, that... I, I, I tell, I'll tell you what I can do if, if you want. Um, like I've got a paid for account that I use. So, um, Kelly, if you've got all these guys and you can send a link to them, if this ends, then I can sort out. <laughs> um, usually, forty minutes is where I can kind of um, handle just with my health. It's a bit much. Fair I usually enough. Fair enough. end up sleeping for about three hours after a show just because I'm so worn out. But um, I would love that help. Um, we'll talk more about that for sure. We are going to be. Yeah. Hopefully, changing platforms, right, Ben? Yeah, yeah. We're playing. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the platform Rock Out Loud, but we're able to have a 4K picture, and we're able to, um, when we're editing, be able to choose from uh, person to person. So we're going to have a lot. Uh, we'll have a lot more of a professional sheen to the show once we do that, which right. will be happening over the next, hopefully, two weeks. Or so. <laughs> Um, but I'm so glad that you guys are all here. I hope you all, um, find me on Facebook, at, uh, at, at Lane Cable, um, Lane Ben Cable, or find us in the group chat, the, the Rock and Talk and Token meeting. And I, what's great about this show is we've really developed a community and a family of musicians that, um, you know, good things have really come out of this. And, um, I'm glad That's you guys so all came down here today. And one of the yeah. one of the most latest blessings definitely is Andy and just working with Citeria and then being able to pull everybody else with him to me and to do awesome stuff. Uh, I can't wait, Andy. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. I, I, I will say quickly, like as much as me and Andy take the piss a bit, like um I I owe this man like a lot. <laughs> okay. And, um, and, the whole roster keeps saying beautiful things like that. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, it, no, it's cool. It's cool. But um, uh, my guy, uh, my lot are actually uh, heading out on our first proper UK tour opening for Citeria in like what is it now, Andy? Two weeks. Two weeks, and we're off, we're off the tour. Uh, yeah. Uh, not gonna lie, slightly bricking it, but <laughs> uh, it, it'll be You'll good. be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, so Charlie, I have added everybody who's on um, our peer power, or the new 33 and a third peer power page is people that are in this group. So I hope you all check out the music from each other. Um, yeah. Daniel and you guys with um, Divided We Fall, check out everybody on there as well. Love to work with you guys as well. Um, I'm using Mary Jo Fain in Oklahoma as a little bit of a scout, and she is bringing me some great people. And Lips, I, I know um, we are planning so many awesome things to do with Citeria and you and lots of awesome stuff uh, to hit you up with. So I hope that you have a little chat with Andy real soon. And um, yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm off to recording on Sunday. And I'm not back till mid middle of September. So well, just letting everybody know that. So where are you gonna be going? Where are you gonna be recording? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to Germany. You are. Yeah. Awesome. Wonderful. How exciting. Okay, so will we be able to contact you there at all for the month? Yeah, I, guess, I, I yeah, I mean we are living, we'll be in different time zones, whatever. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So the show will remain at the same time. Are you still able to do the show in September? I, I, I don't, I doubt it. 
Got it. Okay. Got it. I understand you can't commit, but if you ever have the time, we could. I have. Yeah, uh, I just just have a lot of the studio. It'd be great. Yeah. You know, what time of the day is that going to be, and when am I going to be in the middle of? Well, we will figure that out. We will definitely keep it going, and we will definitely hold your spot because the show is not the same without you. Yes. It will be closer ever. to uh, my time zone, and it's like ten o'clock now. So. Yeah. It's it's awesome. so. It'll be in the lit, evening. Lit. Lips, it'll be exactly the same time zone as what the UK is where you where you are. So, so hey, uh, actually, it, it, it's actually it, it, it's there's an hour difference. Oh, you an hour difference. Close, yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's six hours well, difference from my time zone right now. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll have a, we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. Lips, me and you'll have a chat when you get back from your recording in September sometime. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know what's going on, what I'm doing. I, I got, I just. We, we were supposed to go to her, but it's not going to be possible. Yeah. Yeah. It's not possible. It's yeah. not, it doesn't make sense. Well, then all the, different, all the different criteria to enter into enter into each. Oh, it's ridiculous! It's absolutely ridiculous. Fuck that, man. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it is only this. Oh, you're leaving on Sunday, did you say? Yeah. Wow. wow. I have a question. Sure. Lives. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, you know, I've seen your, your movie, and every time I look at you, I keep flashing back to this one spot in the movie. I want to ask you about it. Is when you was, you was over UK, I think, or you were somewhere, screwing over. The guy tried to pay your band with a bowl of soup. And you uh -huh. kept asking him where the fuck your money was. And all of your. <laughs> Came up and putting up against the wall saying, Where do you know where to whatever? Where's my money? You know, I just keep my partner. <laughs> cool. That? Well, that, they caught a, a lovely moment. Uh, <laughs> okay. This never, is quite never to happen again. Well, but it, yeah. it happened once, so you're lucky was, enough to get it on the film. You guys killed the show. You know, I'm like, These dudes are kicking fucking ass and a bowl of soup. Dude, I'd probably hit him before that. I mean, what? Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I think that it, it was brutal, man, because it, that was just previous. That that era was just previous to having you know GPS in your phone and all that stuff. So you're doing it by maps now. How do you read fucking check? You know, check this <laughs> out. Yeah, use that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not yeah. The same letters. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's cool. I always think it's so cool to see how your movies affected so many different so people. So many people, yeah. yeah. It's it's oh, yeah. really really uh, great great documentary. I mean, we talked about it on the Canadian Music Podcast as well, and um, uh, so many times, and we can do another one on one. Yeah. Um, I will definitely really miss you, Lips. This is really the best part of my week is doing these shows. Oh, you can um, still do it without me. <laughs> no, we can't. We almost can't. I'll stand can. in. I'll just stand think, in. Man, what do you want from me? <laughs> ah, I want it all, man. You know, just straight up like I do. But, you know, we are going to keep working. We're going to do stuff, a whole lot of stuff while you're gone. And um, just when you get back, you know, I hope you'll be with us again. And if uh, we can work it out, we'll try. You know, if it's 10 o'clock at night and that's too late, then we'll try and book. Well, no, it might not be. It's just, you know, I don't know. I, the computer that I, I have, that's the other. I, I'm going to have to use my phone. would have to be using it. Yeah. Yeah. It's Everybody okay. here uses, or a lot of people I'm just, use it. I'm just phone. thinking about the, the state of our phone. phone. Yeah. Right. Either way. <laughs> I'll do. Love to get some updates and some, you know, send me some video and some pictures and lots of cool stuff to share on the page. And uh, we'll just, edit it in. Going. We'll edit it all in. Hey, Lips, listen, I know uh, you've been here longer than me, but you, you know, that seat's always yours. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like we're close friends, even we've ne even though we've never met in person. And um, have a great, great time recording. Yeah. Get, you know, make it the best album ever, and uh, that's what I'll be expecting from you. Yes. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of this COVID shit. That's it. No shit. Oh, yeah. No I'll be shit. buying that, Lips. I will definitely be buying that. Well, we <laughs> can hold the it, board it, down. This is the only thing to come out for me. It's the only thing that's out of it that came good out of it. 
because it actually really got to zero in on small details that I wouldn't normally. That's it. That's yeah. it. It's yeah. refining time for sure. You're like me on Facebook. Yeah. Is it better or not? For sure. That's a that's subjective. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for joining.